Alright, time to talk about Brucella in this Bruce Lee fighting scene. Here's the bad guy, the gram-negative coxobacillus who always hangs out inside this barn since he's an intracellular pathogen. Now here is Bruce Lee's grandmother, the granny, with her llama, which reminds us of granuloma, as Brucella forms non-caseated granulomas. And this scene takes place on a farm because Brucella is transmitted by direct contact with infected farm animals, such as sheep or goats, or the ingestion of contaminated animal products, such as unpasteurized milk. All right, good job, Bruce Lee. But although Bruce Lee won this fight, he didn't realize that his friends, the ninja, got hurt. Bruce Lee was a little bit too excited to realize. Anyway, this part of the scene reminds us of symptoms of Brucella infection. The ninja limping reminds us of the myalgias. And he's walking towards these random cushions on the floor in order to rest. The large liver and spleen remind us of hepatosplenomegaly, which is a symptom of Brucella infection. The large lymph node reminds us of the lymphadenopathy. And the thermometer reminds us of the fever. Actually, the windmill at this farm going in circles reminds us of the cyclic fevers, which are characteristic of Brucella infection. Alright, so in summary, Brucella is an intracellular gram-negative coxobacillus that's transmitted via ingestion of contaminated animal products or via direct contact with infected sheep or goats. It forms non-caseating granulomas and symptoms of infection include myalgias, hepatosplenomegaly, lymphadenopathy, and cyclic fevers. As a final point, you may have noticed the DR randomly written on the wall of the barn over here. This wasn't random, and it doesn't represent doctor, it represents doxycycline and rifampin, which are used to treat brucella infection. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on brucella. Take care.